interesting morning. Bootsy is not feeling so well. Um, she's got her cauliflower ear and it's been acting up today. So we have her out here. We tried to clean it out a little bit and it's really bothering her. And she doesn't like Mojo so I'm trying to keep them separated which breaks my heart because Mojo likes to sit on me in the morning and get her lovings in but I got to take care of my baby too, you know, so anyway, good morning. Um, I'm going to try and get over to the gym today and um, I'm going to watch more of your guys' vlogs today. If I don't go to the gym, um, I'm going to do some dancing today. So one way or another, I'm going to get some exercising in today. There's no singing. Hey! You know what I mean, right? Boom, boom. I wonder if anybody, I, I, did you guys like my singing? <laughs> Let's see. We didn't read comments yet. So what are your plans for today? Uh, uh, hopefully either work on the refrigerator again or work on the floor. When are we going to work on the ganol? Well, we just put up the, the Presley one. I know, but it was tiring. so exciting. <laughs> I need to get stuff done around here. All right, I'll give you today. <laughs> this is hard to do, isn't it? You gotta be sneaky. She really wants her lovings. Yes. But Bootsy's asleep, I think. So, uh, we can get away with it as long as... Boom. As long as Mojo keeps his her mouth shut. And stays on this side. <laughs> because Bootsy can't see. Alright, so... About um, 11 o'clock, Val got hit by a headache. So she's back in bed. It's, she's been having pretty good days lately. I think a lot of it has to do with because she's uh, sleeping so well with her new medication. She stopped taking some of her other medications that she was using to sleep. And I think she uh, she stopped them too abruptly, so she's having a little bit of uh, uh, side effects from that. So well, I'm off to uh, get her some of her war wonton soup that she always likes when she's not feeling well. A little earlier today, Mom showed up and I, had to put some, I put some air in her tires and we went and had lunch. So... That's been my day so far. So it's 93 degrees today. I don't know if you could see that or not. And uh, normally this isn't too bad for me. Val, that could be one of the reasons why Val is not feeling so well. But um, it's humid. And humid is something that we don't experience here in California, at least Southern California, very often. But uh, we have the remnants of some tropical storms coming off of the um, coast of Mexico that's uh, left us overcast and a little, a little bit of rain. And so all the moisture in the air has become humidity. Now, for those of you back east, you'd probably laugh at what we call humidity because uh, when I was in Philadelphia a while back, uh, it was so humid you could see the air. And if you go walk through for five minutes you'd be soaking wet. Uh, this isn't quite like that but it's uh, certainly enough to make Californians unhappy. All right it's time for round two of Kevin versus the refrigerator freezer. Here we go. Okay, so I was trying to show you a little retaining clip 
last time just on the side here and my and Val told me that my big fat head was in the way so nobody could see what I was doing so there's a little plastic retaining clip I'm just gonna pop that out with the screwdriver and that's what's holding this whole thing in so there's the ice maker unit nothing's really changed there there's really nothing else in here except the the wire bundle that powers it and uh, that little thing coming out of the the top here is the water supply and I need to check to see if there's anything blocking that I'm gonna have to find something to probe it something clean I'm gonna have to probably clean off some heavy wire and there seems if there's something stuck in there I'm gonna get the dryer out hair dryer well, it has defeated me. Pulled the whole thing apart again. Checked the uh, line. There is no ice in the line. It's very clear. It's just not filling. Everything else seems to be working, but it's not filling. All right, Boomy. So, guys, I started off feeling really, really good this morning. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I got this horrendous pain in my head and in my ear. And I feel kind of like it might be vertigo. vertigo. Um, I'm weaning myself off of some of my medications. And one of it is Phenergan, which is a anti... it's for vertigo. Yeah, it's there's a lot of things it's used for vertigo and um, anti seizure. It also makes you very sleepy, uh, so it's used as a it's a, it's got a lot of uses. But you've been taking it for a long time for your stomach. I've been taking two every night for years. So for my gastroparesis, and I was taking one for about a week and a half now. Maybe that wasn't long enough. And then last night I decided not to take any. Well, today I was doing fine when I first woke up and then bam, all of a sudden it hit me. And I did take a half of one and I'm still very, very dizzy. I can't really walk. And I took the other half. I had something to eat and I'm throwing it all back up. So... I'm watching, I'm trying to catch up on everybody's videos because I'm so far behind right now. I'm watching Dawn from Daily Rambles and she's driving home in a tornado. All right. No, it's da, scary. Da, 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 da. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be on the bicycle outside your window. <laughs> I got you and your little dog too. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take your little dog Digger because he's cute. <laughs> hey. hey. There's no more dogs. That's what, that's what Mojo says. She shouldn't really even be in here because Bootsy does not handle it very well. But Bootsy's in her cubby. And I want Kevin to bend down and check to make sure she's okay because she hasn't made any noises. She's okay. She's okay. I, I, I want you to bend down and check for me, please. I will. Okay. All right. She'll probably be mad at me. Oh. <laughs> She's mad at me, shaking her head. <laughs> so I think uh, I think her ear is compacted with whatever it is, and it actually needs to be dug out. And I don't want to do that. She might need to be put asleep for it. But uh. so I'm not giving up on this future refrigerator. It is not defeating me. I went online and discovered what is the thing that that stops working on this particular brand of refrigerator and it is the dual inlet valve um, it, one thing that had me su surprised is since there's water coming out why wouldn't there be ice coming out as well um, because it, it has two separate inlets from uh, uh, from the water line so one of them has stopped working so on this particular website it's 80 bucks but I found it on Amazon 
for $42 used and that's where I'm going. $42 used, free shipping. I should have it Monday or Tuesday and that would be awesome. Yeah. Hello everybody. It's just you and me now. Val's not feeling so good so I put her to bed. She should be feeling better tomorrow. Uh, I ordered the part for the refrigerator. Should be here Tuesday probably and I will do battle yet again with the frigid air. So see you all tomorrow. Everybody share this with your friends and family and don't forget if you haven't uh, already subscribed, subscribe. We have a, um, a movie vlog up so take a look at that and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.